Today in Python, we're going to start working with loops, and in this case, while loops. Let's start creating our scripts here. I'm using Vim as my text editor. Python. <laughs> my loop is what I'll call this, dot .py. And I will start off with an interpreter user bin python. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say x equals 0. And I'll say while x is less than 100, and then colon, and then we'll start our loop here. Now, Python is very particular about indenting. It is it does this to keep your code clean and easy to read. But if you're not used to it, it can be a pain in the butt. So make sure you indent the same all the time. So the way it knows where the loop is, is after this, this uh, colon, it's going to look for the next line, and which should be indented. And in this case, we're going to say print x. And then we're going to continue our loop we're going to say print, or not print, I'm going to reset x equal to x plus 1. So what we're doing here is we're setting x equal to 0, then we're starting our loop. While x is less than 100, which it is less than 100 now because it's 0. We're going to print what x is, which is 0, then we're going to take x, and set it equal to x plus 1, which means it will now be 1, next time around it will be 2, 3, all the way up until it hits 100. And it will do this very fast, so our output is going to appear on the screen uh, in a long list. So I am going to save this, make it executable with change mod plus x for executable my loop dot py and then dot slash the name of our file boom and we'll wait and stopped at 99 because once it hit 100 it would be greater uh, it won't be less than 100 so there's our list once again I'll run it again you'll see how fast it does it you don't even see the numbers pouring out unless you're on a real slow machine um, gonna go back into our editor here we can now also add a new line I'm going to say print x is now more than 100. And it knows that this is not in the loop anymore because it's not indented. So I'm going to save that. No need to make it executable again because the script is already executable. Dot slash to run it. And you see it went all the way through it. And at the end it says x is now more than 100. If we wanted to add more loop, we just keep on adding here with the indentation. So we can actually, if we were to take this same line and just indent it, it now becomes part of the loop. So save it. It's going to say that in between every line now, even though it's not really more than 100. And actually, at the end, it's not more than 100. It's actually equal to 100. Anyway, running it. So now you see it, become part, it becomes part of the loop. And so every time it loops, it prints that instead of just being at the end. So that is uh, one quick look at loops. Uh, other things you can put in here, you can say while x does not equal 100. So up until it does equal 100, boom, it does it again, stopped at 99 because it went until it equaled 100. So the output ended up being the same there, although in every case it may not be that. I just took that out of the loop. I put the extra little blank line here just to make it easier to read. It could be here, it doesn't make a difference. Another thing you can do here is, well, you can say while x equals, and to do equals you do a double equal sign, otherwise you're s a single equal sign, you're setting a variable, double equal sign, you're checking a variable. See if it was one, we'd say, we're saying x now equals 100, Two equal signs are saying, check to see if x equals 100. Anyway, so we're going to say while x equals, a, and we'll say 0 here. Well, if I do that, it's going to loop forever. I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, another thing we do, we did 
uh, less than before. We can do greater than. Um, I'm sure there's a few others, but greater than, less than, equal to, uh, not equal to, which I think I said explanation equals, which says as long as it's not equal to. Uh, we can change it before merit stopped at 99 because we said less than 100. We can say while equal to or less than 100. Run that. Oh, actually, I think it has to be less than or equal to. There we go. So now this is true. It's more than 100 because x actually equals 101 right now. It just isn't displayed because it does that after the loop. But you see, instead of stopping at 99, they went to 100 because it's now not just less than, it's less than or equal to. You can also do greater than or equal to. But that is our first look at loops, while loops. And I uh, hope you found that useful. And visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.